The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a look at the German DAX. Well, the first picture, of course, was from London. The fellow standing there on the left was uh, Dr. David Paul. Leaning over in the white shirt is Tom Hugard. And that fellow sitting there in the black shirt was the Tom Cruise lookalike. Anyway, um, it was fun having David on and also Tom. They're going to be regulars on the show, folks. They've got a lot of stuff to give us, and they're welcome to do it. So we're certainly going to be... Uh, we're going to be uh, having them on. Where's the picture? Someone says he doesn't see the picture, so let's get the old picture up there and see the old picture. You know what? I think I didn't put the picture in. There you go. There's the picture. That's uh, David Paul on the left, and the white T-shirt is Tom. I'm sitting down, and behind me is the, uh, the movie star from uh, Asia. Uh, what was her name? Oh, Sarah Luck. Anyway, let's uh, let's look at these markets here, folks. Um, we've taken a look at the DAX. You can see we're heading higher, uh, much like our market here. It looks like we've got 3021 written on this S&P for today. Um, the uh, NASDAQ is very, very close to the high. Uh, we've come close to taking out 3015, which is close. It's making a little three drive up there, but you know who knows where it's going to go from here. Let's switch over to oh, – hold on just a minute. we got some news coming in here. Oh, I put the DAX up there too there, buddy. I know I did that one. Let's get the old DAX Arena up here. I think you're, uh, you're, missing a, you're missing a – hold on just a second, Chief. Let's get on here. Hold on. Let's get this up here. Sorry, Al. I'll get this done here in a minute. Ah, shucks. Okay, there's the German DAX. You see we're up at that 1.618 level, and uh, we'll see you know, what's going to continue on with these, and we'll go from there. Norm Winsky will be our guest today at uh, 930, so we'll look forward to having him. And as I mentioned, we're going to have Tom Hugard and David Paul will be regulars. We'll have them on at least once or twice a month, hopefully for 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, you know they'll be, uh, be work. Be, be fun to, to listen to them anyway because they know what they're doing. Let's talk about a couple of stocks that are in the news, folks. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at the old uh, – go. Uh, well, let's do the first one on here. Let's, let's do the Twitter first. Yeah, here we go. Here's Twitter. We'll get up here. Uh, here we go. One second here. Okay, there's Twitter. As you can see here, we uh, had a big ABCD3 drive pattern up there in September. You can see the uh, real nice butterfly pattern that finished at 45. Folks, we're trading at 3180 today. You can see that black mark on the left there. Uh, if you got the if you got the the uh, the memo to go short Twitter yesterday, I'm glad you did because I I didn't send it out. I hit the wrong button. I hit the buy level on on. Uh, Tesla, let's get old Tesla up here and take a look at it. The reason why I'm bringing you up is because especially Tesla, because this is a real very, very interesting chart here. If you like Fibonacci levels, you'll notice here that we've opened that we're $45 higher today in uh, Tesla. It's trading around 302. The 61% retracement on this is 303. And uh, if you remember, we had that same thing happen with Netflix. You know, when their earnings were really good, remember it gapped up to the 382 and then said goodbye. So uh, be careful of these uh, these things here. I don't know why they go to these numbers, but uh, they uh, they land on them quite a bit. So let's kind of keep a uh, close eye on these as we uh, walk through some of the things that we're looking at uh, uh, for today. Uh, I wanted to bring to your attention something from uh, uh, Dennis Gartman. Let's get this up here. If I can just find it, what did I do? You know what I'm? When I do these darn things, I get them all ready to go, and then I can't find the darn things. Ah, here it is. This is from uh, Tom. Uh, 
uh, hold on just a second here. Tom McClellan from uh, McClellan Oscillator. I knew his his uh, his uh, mom and dad very well. He was just a little kid when he used to come into the Conti offices in uh, L.A. He lives up in Washington now. Here's the uh, you can see here the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, on the top there. You can see that one three five pattern. But you notice here that we are seeing a breakout into the advanced decline line. Uh, that's usually pretty bullish. If you can see back in August before we had that big sell-off, there was a uh, you know a failing of the the advanced decline line you know that started uh, sometime around the middle of August. So that's uh, you know it's telling you that this market is still bullish. The open interest yesterday uh, in the S and P did increase. The others didn't do anything at all, but the of course the almighty S and P uh, certainly certainly did. So let's. Uh, Let's move on here and take a quick look at some of these other things that we're watching today. This is one that we sent out last night because it was so interesting. This was the uh, this was the gold market, folks. This was just a uh, looking at it over the last five days using a 15-minute chart. You can see uh, we had a, a number there at 1490. The reason why that's important, you can see the ABCD structure. We've already started to come down. We were trading around 1493 when I sent this out. That sets up a really nice 135 pattern from October the 16th to the 21st until we are today. And if you'll just bear with me here a second, I'll bring you up. And of course, you know, I wouldn't be putting this up unless it worked. And uh, we've had a rally up to 97. So kind of keep an eye on gold. It needs to stay above this level here at 1490 folks uh, we rallied up to 1497 around uh, $7 uh, after that low was made we're trading around 95 right now so it should hold above that 1497 uh, without uh, without too much trouble that's what i would be watching here this morning uh, someone said there's no sound uh, i'm uh, 104 uh, let's double check this broadsword to danny boy broadsword to danny boy come in danny boy Okay, thank you very much. I just wanted to make sure that uh, the old program is in here. The old chicken is in the pot. All right, let's move on here. Any questions, folks? 877-927-6648. Someone asked me a question. Would I be shorting uh, a Tesla up in here? I, You know, I don't like to short stocks. I, well, I don't, I don't do any stocks. I basically do, you know, I'm doing, a, I probably do 60% uh, foreign exchange and 40% futures. But if I had to do anything today, I'd buy a put. You know, the put's going to be, you know, you know, buy a 280 put, probably not going to cost you very much. And, uh, or, you know, maybe even a 300 put. I don't know. 303 is the FIB number. You, If you wanted to sell it short, you could sell it short at 303 and use a $5 stop or something. You know, that's uh, one of the things I'd be looking at. So, I, you know, I, I, whenever you see these gaps like that, folks, they play a game on Wall Street. You know, <laughs> it don't make any difference what the news is. They just do it. So pay close attention to it. That's the uh, that's a key thing to, uh, you know, to be watching. That's that's uh, the name of the game. At least that's the way they do it on the old Wall Street. So we'll see whether that's going to be the case or not. All right. Let's uh, let's move on here and uh, talk just. A, a tiny bit about our good friend natural gas uh, we had a really nice run here the last couple of days we got up into that resistance area at 232 and after the break and after the break we'll be right back If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of Apple, the largest uh, held stock in the world, most active, most expensive. You'll notice here that dark blue line up there where the D completes is at 244.75, and that's where we're trading right now. If you go to the far left, right above where it says Apple, you'll see those little numbers, the four little numbers in a row, 1.618. And it shouldn't get much above that. But if it do, it could go a lot higher. So pay attention to it. we got to watch it very, very close. Natural gas, I'm going to cover right now, Tucker. You'll have to bear with me today, my friend, because I am trying to uh, get everything done here at one time so that we can uh, see it without too much trouble. The natural gas has some resistance. I don't have a chart for it. That's the problem. I was trying to get one, and uh, I absolutely was not able to uh, do it. But it, uh, it has some resistance at the... Uh, 232 level. That's the 78% level. It's, it's within a dollar of that right now, but that's not on my my watch list today. I'm watching a few other things that look uh, look a little bit interesting. So those are just some of the things that we're uh, paying attention to. So uh, that that's really what I'm watching, what I'm trying to say. Uh, the real key to me today, one of the key markets that we watch, of course, is the gold. And I think gold has that uh, possibility uh, because we got down to that. Uh, let me just draw this in. You'll see it on a little bit longer time frame. We'll move out here for just a little bit. Um, uh, investing. Uh, oh, David posted a chart for me for uh, natural gas, I think. Let's just get this up here. Uh, I can't use that one, David, because it uses a uh, one of those uh, graph charts that they use at CNBC, and I don't uh, I don't particularly uh, don't particularly like that. I'll post that natural gas chart. Ah, 
Let's do it now. We've got time. We've got the wizard coming on. Let me do this gold first because this gold is important. Let's get this gold chart up here because I think this is more important than the natural gas right now. You notice that uh, you see that 0.618 last uh, right there. That's where we hit yesterday. Today we hit uh, 1490. I already showed you those charts. If we can get above 1501 today, uh, this thing has got legs. Uh, that's my guess. The reason why is those patterns that we're seeing at 1490 were just so perfect. Uh, let me do it again because <laughs> I didn't send them out for my health, but let's just get it up here. You'll see that uh, it, it did it absolutely perfectly and came down and retested it twice. So that's a that's a very good uh, very good sign that 1490 is very very important. We're trading at 1497 right now. If we can get above 1502, uh, it's got a chance. That's uh, basically you know what we're looking at as we uh, as we walk through through this. Now give me a second here, and I will get up the old. Uh, let me get hold on just a second here, boys and girls. I got to get the old. What is this thing we got called? It is called. Uh, natural gas. Hold on just a second. NG, get it up here, and uh, you'll see where we are. Yep. I'm going to uh, bring this up to you in a format that you'll be able to see it a little easier, which will be the 30 minute. Let's do both of them because this is important. We're, we're at a very critical level here. I just want to get it to your attention here to see what's going on. And you'll be, uh, you'll see right here. Uh, let, now let's, what we're, that was the daily. Now what we're going to do now is going to go down to an hourly and you're going to see the 61% uh, retracement. Let's just bring it up here so you'll be able to see it. This is why we are watching it very, very closely. We hit that 232. You see that was a 78% retracement of the high on the 18th, and it was a 61% retracement of the high of uh, uh, what you call it. So we, and not only that, but we've been up now for four days in a row, beautiful ABCD format. And so that tells us that uh, we'll most probably have a little bit of a correction here. So I lightened up on the natural gas looking to buy it back uh, on a pullback. But you know, if it takes off without me, that train moves a lot sometimes. Uh, so You'd want to be ready to buy it back if it got above 235. Uh, doing that today, so sort of keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on that one. That was the main thing that I would be uh, be watching. Anyway, let's move on to uh, one other thing that I wanted to cover here. Uh, Norm Winsky will be our uh, guest here at the half hour. Always good to know what Norm has. A lot of astrology stuff uh, turning on. I also mentioned the uh, the number in the uh, E mini S and P we're looking at is uh, right around the uh, thirty twenty one level. The odds of that hitting are somewhere above a hundred percent, but I don't know how much above a hundred percent. That's the that's the key. The other thing, we should have a uh, going away party today for Mario Draghi. Uh, he started in uh, 2011 when the euro was trading at uh, 140. Now he's leaving at uh, when the euro is trading at uh, uh, 111. And not only that, uh, you are looking at uh, when he came in, he had a positive GDP. And now here we are eight years later, and they have a negative G GDP. But his uh, reign was dealing him as a great success because, because he brought in one of the most finest of the greatest of all the financial rules of the world. And anybody that guesses what it is wins a free prize. Uh oh, we already have a winner. Yes, he brought in negative interest rates. God bless him. I still never figure that one out. All right, let's move on here to another one here that we're looking at. Uh, we want to watch uh, very, very closely today, uh, and that is the crude oil. Let's get it up here so we can take a quick look at it. Uh, we talked about this market uh, we uh, finally had a, a rally up. We got up to a little above the 56% level, right above the 382 level, 5620 uh, something was a high today. We completed that ABCD that was in there. So this is a, a really need to get the uh, crude oil above 57, and then it's got a really good chance, you know, for a really good move uh, to the upside. Uh, someone had a question about the hogs. Folks, we, we, we thought that the hogs would be a buy. Let's get this up here so we can take a quick look at it here, get the old Christmas hogs up. If we had them down around that 65 level, and by golly, guess where they're trading today, folks? 
they're right there uh, at the 65 level. That's a 78% retracement of the last swing up where we had that double top at 73. And so the, it needs to hold 63, that's for sure. So below 63 would not be a good sign in the old Christmas hogs. Uh, so whether that happens or not, we'll have to uh, let, let the trading gods uh, tell us. Um, by the way, I had a question for you folks. Uh, how how was the uh, how was the presentation by David Paul yesterday? I got some really good feedback on it. He's going to be coming back to talk to us about probability theory and stuff that Tom uses in his trading, and I, I think it's really important. He, he's in a He's in a different realm than all of us folks, but uh, he is going to explain to us how you can do it, and it, it would be uh, be real interesting to, to hear him. We have, we'll have him on uh, hopefully next week or the week, probably next week for sure. Now, Monday, don't miss the show on Monday, folks, because we have none other than Stan Harley. Stan Harley will be a guest on Monday. Tomorrow, we have Tim Bost of Florida who does a great job, along with the next guy coming up, the old Florida wizard himself. He calls it to the minute. His name is Winsky, and he'll be on when we come back from this next break to talk to us about some astrology stuff that's in the air. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks. And without further ado, from the wonderful city of Naples, Florida, we have Norm Winsky on the line. Norm, you've got the microphone. Take her away. Thank you, Larry. Thanks for having me on your show. Good morning, everyone. Okay, hopefully you can see my notes on the screen. And here's, uh, we have a lot, to, I was last on your show, Larry, on the 10th of October, just ahead of a full moon, a few days ahead of the full moon. And we had a lot of, the planets were really busy here the last two weeks. And I'm going to give you an overview here, and then uh, you might want to take a screenshot of all these uh, uh, things and uh, check them out for yourself. All my charts I'll be showing you are as of last night, so if something happened this morning, I will not be reflected now because I did not, you know, I got I to gotta get a couple hours sleep, you know, every now and then. All right, so we got three groupings of planetary activity. I do uh, geocentric, that's from the point of view of the Earth. We have heliocentric, that's from the point of view of the Sun. And then we have what's called the, a, a U.S. natal chart. That's based on when the uh, something called the U.S. was started on July the 4th, 1776. You, uh, if you're an American, you might have heard of that. So anyway, so we take a, sna a natal chart. We take a snapshot of where the planets were on that day. And then we look at the, where the planets are now and compare them. And they will see if we have any key harmonics or any key lineups. So that's how we do that. So uh, U.S. natal chart is for... Your U.S. financials, which is U.S. stocks, uh, T bonds, and the U.S. dollar. It's okay. Your different, and then you uh, your commodities. You have different uh, planets and signs that are specifically associated with various uh, markets. So there we go. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, we had, and then of course we have the, the moon, full moon, new moon. Uh, the moon is usually uh, we have a kind of we well, say round up the usual suspects which are your basic ones, our financials, grains, and precious metals tend to dance to the new moon and full moon. Okay, uh, then, uh, so that was, we had that after the the uh, Friday, the weekend there of the 11th, over the weekend. And then we also had uh, Jupiter to Uranus in a key angle, 135. And Jupiter, uh, Uranus, uh, let's see, Jupiter is those. We're not going to bother with those today. But we did have Uranus in the sign of Taurus the bull. And so we're going to look at cattle, which is, you might guess, is Taurus the bull. And then we have Uranus is, uh, has to do with electricity, and copper is a good conductor of electricity. So copper, I think, responds to Uranus. And then cotton, that's also a Taurus market. And then we have stocks, which is the big basket of everything. It tends to respond to just about everything. Now, the other markets are very specific in their... Uh, what they respond to, uh, the stock market responds to everything. That's the difference between the stock market and all the other commodities, all the other markets. All right, there we go. We got the North Node to the U.S. Sun, a bunch of stuff to the U.S. Sun. I'm going to try to keep this uh, short. So we're, we have something with uh, Jupiter and the Moon's North Node. So that's a Moon thing and Jupiter. And then we look at the silver and stocks and so forth. And then we have Neptune to the U.S. moon. We'll be looking at the U.S. stocks, T bonds, and dollar. And then we have the moon's north node. That was the 18th morning and so forth. And hopefully you get the idea here. Take a senior screenshot of this stuff. And then you know, I'm going to go through the charts and show you if what worked and maybe what didn't work. All right. There we have some key dates here for the specific to the stock market. Using some GAN principles. By, by the way, since we're getting close to the all-time high there on the S&P, which was 3028 back when was that? Back in July or August? Uh, I think it was July, maybe. Uh, back then, I forecasted that 3025 would be a key level. Why is that? A, why would, did I think that was a key number? Because uh, 3025 is 55 squared. Yeah. GAN love the square numbers and 55. Square 55 is a Fibonacci number, and the S&P managed to get only three handles past 3025. So that was well, uh, that Norm. Was, why did it go three handles past 35? That we don't know. It's not perfect. Oh, That's why. okay. All right. I just double checking, my friend. I'm sort of poking fun at you a little bit, but we we enjoy your work here, so keep on coming. Thank you. All right. So we got the uh, Fibonacci. I do Fibonacci time cycles. I do astrological cycles on the uh, S&P. So when was a 
what do the plant where were the planets for the last several four or five major major tops uh, 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 turns on the S&P and how does that compare with where the planets are now that sort of thing so we had a big date there for the eight around the 18th uh, this one here you'd be my since you like market history Larry this was uh, this one here was 16,384 days that's 128 squared and also on the music math scale that's the Pythagorean music mathematics scale uh, from the 12 9 1974 major low you might Remember that? I remember what I was doing around that time, and there we go. So we're going to go through mostly astro. Uh, I'll try again, mostly alphabetical for these charts. So here's cattle's number one on my alphabetical list. There, we had a date here for the. Uh, there's uh, the. Uh, let's see, what was that? That was the. Uh, sorry about that. Let's go back here to. Oh yeah, we had the. Oh yeah, that was the Jupiter Uranus thing with Uranus in Taurus the bull. And that there wasn't really much. Of it. it did slow the momentum on the upside. But it kind of went sideways. But my measurement is, did you have an opportunity to make some money? And I would say no there. So that's why I got a right over there. You'd probably have taken a small loss on that. On the other hand, we had uh, another date here for the 18th. And uh, that was a big line up there for the cattle. And let's see what we had there on the 18th. We had something... With, uh, I'll find it here, let's see, the moon, uh, something there on the, with the moon. Oh, well, well we got to keep moving on, so I, with Venus. Uh, uh, there we go. So anyway, we had a low due there on the 18th, the 21st, 21st, maybe that was it. The 21st, uh, I can't find that right now. Anyway, so that worked out pretty well. Maybe I can look on the here and find out what that is. Uh, Helio... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I know now. Helio Jupiter and her Capricorn. Uh, maybe pull your microphone away, uh, Larry. I can hear you breathing. You know. All right. So Norm, coffee. Norm, uh, Norm I, I need to breathe. No, I know that. I, I, okay. No. Listen. Let me. So we have a question from someone. I hate to interrupt you, but what's the difference between heliocentric and uh, geocentric, and which one is better? Uh, neither is better. I look at them all. And you know, the more the more the more stuff that piles up on a particular particular day, better. Geo, these are all from Latin or Greek. Geo is Earth. You might have taken geography in school, and that was studying the mapping the Earth. Geocentric means from the point of view of the Earth. Helio is uh, we're going to learn a little little Greek. Maybe you knew a little Greek down the street there, Larry, or whatever. And so uh, Helio in Greek is Sun. So from the point of view of the Earth, Geo, from the point of view of the Sun, Helio. Got that? 10-4. So, okay. Coffee is a Capricorn market. So when uh, Jupiter goes around 11 and a half years to go through all the signs, it's a big deal. When it changes signs, that happens. Oh. Time to pay a few bills. Quick. We have to pay a few bills. We'll be right back with Norm Winsky of Astro Trend. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, we're back. We're talking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. Norm, would you please continue? Thank you. When we went away, we were looking at the coffee chart there. I noticed that uh, we're, what we what the ideal s a scenario to find a winning trade on these charts uh, in the in markets is you need to right price action at the right time. Now it's basic. Keep in mind what you learned in high school science class. Uh, Newton, and for every action, there's an opposite equal reaction. If it's going sideways, you can't expect much of a reaction. That's what happened here in the coffee. I was hoping that. We get the right price action there at the right time when Jupiter went into Capricorn, but it didn't happen, and we're going sideways. So I'm going to count that as a miss. You probably, I've heard me, I, if it's going sideways, I'm probably not going to do anything. All right, here's copper. It looks a lot nicer at its key time there. That's where the arrow is, and that's where Jupiter and Uranus lined up. Uranus is copper, and so you go. You had you were a day ahead of that little top there. You went a, maybe a, a penny against your maximum. And then you had a nice pull back there. You had a chance to make some money. Here's corn. Corn is beautiful right at the moon there. There's the a weekend of the 11th when you had the full moon. And it couldn't get not much nicer than that. You're selling on the open, Monday's opening. And then you can see how it went down, down, down. My next big window for the corn was there. I'm going to count that as a miss because it did go. It never really turned around until several days later. If I'm not right within about one day, I count it as a miss. Well, there you go. So you had a nice chance to make some really good money on the short side at the top there. Maybe maybe the small loss there later in the month. All right, here's your cotton. This is kind of a little wild and crazy. If you could handle the swing there, you might have had a good trade. Uh, there's your key. There's the uh, key time there uh, for the cotton, and uh, it's on the uh, grid there earlier. Let's see, the cotton is. Uh, Let's see, i got to keep going, moving ahead here. Now, Jupiter, oh, you, that was a Jupiter Uranus thing with Uranus and Taurus. And Taurus is a cotton market. And there you go. You made a nice little spike top there for a day or two. And there we go. Here's the goal going sideways. And But notice, here's the price pattern here. You know, if you use Larry's uh, price patterns here in, in conjunction with these times, I think you'll do pretty well. Now here, though, the gold is just going flat line. As a matter of fact, it's going, looks to me like it's trading into a big wedgie pattern here. And mm -hmm. up to, as of last night, it keeps getting higher bottoms, lower tops, you know, coming to mm -hmm. an apex here. 
I would think that the apex might be this weekend when you have a new moon. So if you want the, if you want gold to go up, you really want to see it either go sideways or down into the new moon, and then you can turn around and have a substantial rally. If it rallies into the weekend, then you might be just looking at a, a little short-term rally, and you might top out by Monday. So that's how I see it. Here, OJ, here's a good example of a perfect, just about a perfect setup with the, lining up here with the uh, uh, with the moon and there we go down 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 we go consolidate for a day or two if you bought it right there there's our window there the morning of the 14th Monday and you're buying it right on the low and then boom you pop up for about five cents that's good for uh, about uh, seven hundred fifty dollars in OJ looking good feeling good uh, <laughs> Lewis you know right that kind of thing right here you go. Here's the silver. I boxed these in because I had a whole bunch of signals here. And the silver just decided to go to sleep. It just went sideways. And, you know, if we're going sideways, we can't do much. We did get a little decline here on one of our dates. And so you had a chance to buy there. And that wasn't too bad. It did pop up here a little bit. And it popped up there on one of our dates outside of the, the sleepy boxes. And then you had a chance to make some money there on that uh Point there, which I think well, the moon, the moon is the silver, the silvery moon, you know, and there's the moon, and the moon's north node is related to the moon, and that was the way you had there. This is right on the, uh, let's see, I uh, forget what that was, but you, you got a, if you took a screenshot of these, you can, you'll be able to figure these all out. Let's see, 15th there is uh, the silver. We got, uh, yeah, we got the, the something with the moon's north node there too. All right, beans are pretty nice. Here's your moon. Right there near the top, you sold, if you sold it, if it's going up, we want to sell. If it's going down, we like to buy. And there we go. So there's the beans. Top it out there right on the moon. And there we go over here. We had a Mercury event here. And that's uh, Mercury and the moon are the key things for the grains, especially for soybeans. Here's your sugar. Had a couple of Venus events here for the sugar. Uh, we had a Libra. Libra is a, the sign for... We had the heliocentric Mars go in the Libra. And you can see there, that, that I think that was right there. And we had something going on there, too. And that worked out pretty nice. Here's wheat. We had the moon there, a little short-term top. And then here, here's how you can use these time periods uh, for technical analysis. So here we have the moon. We say, oh, look, that's a nice top there. It pulls back. Now, if it takes out that top, that's really bullish. So you see your key times give you the key prices. You can draw a nice horizontal line across there. There's your resistance line based on time. And now you just converted time to price. So there you go. Once it takes out, if it takes out that top, boom, you're going to get a nice move to the upside. You see that? All right, there's T bonds. T bonds going into the sleepy mode here, the red box. Uh, we had a couple of misses here over the, uh, uh, around the weekend of the 11th and the 14th. Had a, another date there for the U.S. is all mostly based on the U.S. natal chart. Had a nice stop there, and then it went into sleepy mode. You know, we're going absolutely sideways. Mm -hmm. Here's the U.S. dollar. We had lots of uh, dates for the dollar, like the bonds. And let's see, we had uh, several signals here near this top here on the dollar. Then we had a miss here in the middle of that move. And we had a bunch of, another big cluster here right around the 18th for a nice low. Here's your euro. Thought I'd throw in the the euro for the moon. There's your full moon there. Uh, let's see uh, over here. Let's see that's uh, the moon is where the moon is over here. Uh, it's up in the only... sky. Yep. Anyway, so I, uh, the moon would be here. And near this low, I don't know why I put a green there. Oh, that's right, the eleventh. Oh, okay, I don't know. I looked at the wrong thing there. All right, there we go. Here's the moon there on that fourteenth uh, over the weekend of the eleventh, and so you're near that top there. You got like a two-day pullback. And again, if you draw a little horizontal line there and you take out that level, that's very bullish, you know, right? Mm -hmm. right? Here's your Aussie dollar. was uh, nice, probably the nicest of the currencies. Had a nice rally into our window there for the moon over that weekend. And you sold there on the opening. You would have had a nice three, four, about a three-day pullback in the Aussie dollar. Mm -hmm. And here's your S&P. Lots of dates for the dollar, the U.S., for the S&P because... It responds to everything. So there we go. We had there, we had a big cluster there right around the moon, the 18th. And there we had the uh, top there 
for the uh, you know the 14th and then the 15th, and then we had a little top there and another little top there and so forth. And uh, got to keep moving ahead here. Or we're not going to get to the the really important stuff. Here we go. Here's your uh, S. Here's my version of the Bradley model, and for the last from this past month, starting on the 30th of September. Here's your dates across the top here, and look what happened. Back on the third, the morning of the third of October, <clears throat> we had one of my top things. If you listened to me before, is when the planets go direct or retrograde, and Pluto turned direct over the night of the second into the morning of the third. Mm -hmm. And so look at that nice spike low there. And look at that blue line I drew back in September, and okay. we've been following that pretty well ever since. Okay. Yeah, we got to pay a few bills. We'll be right back, Arm. Okay. Stay with us. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back with Norm Winsky. Norm, you want to tell the folks how they could reach you? Well, I, I got a couple more quick things to okay. say. Let's well, we're do those things the, first. Uh, I know how to reach you. So. It's my version of Bradley. Notice how it topped out here. on the. That's a new moon there right there. I do that blue line in advance of the month, and you see how it to topped out there on the new moon. Bottom Pluto direct right there in the morning of the third. Spike low there, and then we've been following that blue line. That's black, black bars are the S&P 10-minute bar chart. Been following the blue line pretty well, and we got the blue line there. We're, that's where we're at right now on the... As of last night, the close of the 23rd, 
And I have the blue line going up into the weekend, but look at that. We got Venus at zero south latitude, another one of my top points, and a new moon. So if we do go up into the end of the weekend, Friday or Monday, we're probably going to have some kind of at least short-term top. Okay, now moving ahead here, I'm going to show you some of that stuff right here. Got a big cluster for this weekend, Friday to Monday. We got all these big points here, Monday, more, Mars, Moon, more, Moon's North of the U.S. Uh, we got Venus South uh, Latitude, Zero South Latitude. There's your cattle, copper, cotton, and stocks. And J Jupiter, U.S. Neptune. Again, stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar, and possibly U.S. oil. And the new moon, of course, in Scorpio and so forth. And then we got the Jupiter to the U.S. North Node. So we've got a big cluster here for lots of stuff happening over the next few days. So let's change the trend of those markets that I showed you. Now how to get a hold of me. Here we go. There's my contact information. I have free classes. I will share with you my 50 years of study of the markets. I'm a former Chicago floor trader, traded on the CBOE and the Chicago Board of Trade. And so looking forward, I can teach you day trading, swing trading, get a hold of me. The, tra the classes will be next week. So get a hold of me right away so we can get you lined up for that. There's my contact information. Telephone 239-594-3939. And Winsky, embarkmail.com is my email. And so you can Skype me at Ann Winsky underscore one. And looking forward to helping some of your folks, Larry. Thanks for joining us, Norm. We'll see you soon. We'll be back tomorrow, folks, with Tim Bost, 877-927-6648.